Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for the final episode of this Retro FM series. It's been an unbelievable time with Manchester City, as you kind of would expect. We should be doing exactly what we have been doing this season so far. We've already managed to secure the League Cup and the Premier League title. We've got the uh, Champions League final coming up against an unusual opponent in Italian side Palermo. Lovely kits. Be interesting to see how we get on. We are favourites to win it, I think. So let's get into it. So then, guys, as I said, not much to report on in terms of gameplay um, since you were last with us. Um, obviously, you would have seen us secure our place in the Champions League final uh, with that 1-0 victory on aggregate against Sevilla. Um, Palermo absolutely decimated Aston Villa, really, um, with the with the three away goals that they got in their first leg. So it'd be an interesting final. Um, games that have happened since then, we've played Chelsea uh, in the Premier League away, beat them 2-0. We then played uh, Portsmouth uh, at home in the Premier League, beat them 4-0. We then played Chelsea again in the Premier League. We beat them 2-0 again. Uh, and then I rotated the team for when we played Preston, um, in our final game of the season in the Premier League uh, and we lost that 1-1-0. In terms of the Premier League though, we've absolutely decimated the competition here. Um, 13 points ahead of uh, Liverpool uh, in second, uh, Tottenham and then Manchester United rounding off that top four, Arsenal, Everton, Newcastle, um, Aston Villa and Chelsea all the way down in ninth. The teams that were relegated were Wigan, Burnley and Preston North End, who we did lose to on the last day of the season, but they were already relegated by that point. In terms of Palermo, we kind of had a brief look at them last episode, but just to give you guys a little bit of a catch up, they've got some players in here, um, most uh, most notably Edison Cavani, uh, Abil Hernandez and Javier Pastore, also got Moussa Dembele as well. Um, so they got some, they got some good talent. They got they do have good talent. Um, in terms of their fixtures, though, can I see those? Where are they in the Serie A? They're tenth in the Serie A, and we've just won the Premier League. We got to win this, haven't we? Um, in terms of the uh, they won the what have they won there? The Italian Cup. Interesting. So they've won the Italian Cup. They've done awfully in Serie A. But in terms of in terms of winning the Champions League, though, guys, they've done pretty well. They've come through Aston Villa. Who did they play in the round before? Lyon and then Valencia. So they've not necessarily had the easiest of routes, um, but it definitely is hasn't been hard either. Javier Pastore is their top goal scorer with six. We've got Aguero on eight, but we've also got Hazard and Gorkov on five apiece as well. So the rules then, as you guys know, extra time to be played if it's level after 90. Penalty shootout if they're still level. Seven subs names, maximum three use. That's changed. Now you can uh, name as many subs as, as humanly possible. And um, we've got a couple of players ineligible, like Zabaleta's not registered. Gareth Bale picked up a knock against Preston. So let's see what the assistant says. It's basically full strength, full strength, full power ahead. Akin Fieven goal, Mika Richards, Thiago Silva, Giorgio Chiellini, Jolian Lescott, Nigel De Jong, Merrick Hamsik, uh, Hulk, Gorkov, Luka Modric, Sergio Aguero. The European top marksman, golden boot winner, 53 in 60 games. Unbelievable player is Sergio Aguero. Um, it's been superb for us this season. Also, Johan Gorkov, a player that we bought in the summer. He has been absolutely wonderful. Can play anywhere across that front three. Now, this is very interesting. Palermo here matching our shape. So, this is going to be interesting. They've got Cavani up top on his own. Pastore playing in that whole spot. It'd be interesting to see who has the better game at the combo of Cavani and um, Pastore and Aguero and Johan Gorkov. We kick things off then. We had a set piece. It's initially blocked. Thiago Silva tries his luck from range. And that is miles, miles, miles out. And I don't know why he's tried it. Much the same for that Palermo free kick that you've just seen there. They've tried it um, and were unable to hit the target there. Another opportunity for Palermo from a corner. This time they head over the crossbar. And we are able to have the goal kick and get possession back. But Palermo starting this game very, very well. Um, Pastore on the ball into the penalty area. Akinfeev comes out nicely to take that away from the feet of one of the um, Palermo players there. 
we have yet to really get into this game from anything that we've seen. A little bit of head tennis going on here. It's brought down on this right-hand side. Cross comes in. They hit the crossbar. Jesus. Ball. This more head tennis that we're losing this battle because obviously we've got we've got footballers. We don't have headers of the football. And the amount of corners we've scored directly has been quite low as we almost do one there. Uh, ball to the near post. Chiellini almost getting in there. Jolien Lescott. Wow, that's awful from Jolien Lescott. He goes to go up the line and just kicks it straight out of play. Nervy first 10 to 15 minutes, though. You would like to think that we would... The quality of our side would start to take over. I'm slightly a little bit worried about De Jong playing instead of Busquets. Um, Busquets with that extra little bit of passing. Now seems to help us in the middle. Um, Pastore with a chance there. Akin Thieves palmed it. It's gone into the winger and he slotted past that and feed 15 minutes in and we are a goal down. We were bad against Preston as well, having picked up an amazing three, uh, three, six and nine points against Chelsea twice and then Portsmouth in the league. We need to get our finger out because we have been awful in this game so far. Hulk not able to get hold of it. Hamsick into the Yong, into Aguero. Right, Mika Richards. Ball comes over. Modric doesn't even jump. Aguero commits a foul there. Does he know? Gorkov picks up the loose one. De Jong, Aguero... Modric hits it straight at the goalkeeper, but he was offside regardless there. We will stay on the control mentality, but a lot to do in this in this game against a team that are quite low down in Serie A. Um, obviously, they've been getting beaten in the league. Modric on the ball then on this left-hand side. Back to De Jong. The more Nigel De Jong shoots, the more I literally want to sell him. He does that so often in games and oof, close from Cavani. De Jong does that so often in games. He tries his luck from so far out and it's just, they're just awful shots. Um, I'm yet to see him it even hit the target with one, to be perfectly honest. Um, Akinfeev wins that one off of Cavani as well. Rolls it out quickly to Jolien Lescott. Into Luka Modric then. Back to Chiellini. De Jong, Modric. We're, we're holding the ball, but... Not doing anything with it. That's a foul. Cesar Brovo. And he has now been shown a second yellow card there. So we are against 10 men for the remainder of this Champions League final. We are a goal down though. We do have a lot to do. In terms of the touchline instructions. So I am going to go on attacking now. Now is the time that we push against 10 men. We've got an hour. That's poor from Jolien Lescott though. Better from Mika Richards. Thiago Silva. A bit more head tennis. I don't know how much this will affect their shape. I assume they'll just use one of the attacking players. Thiago Silva goes in hard on Cavani there. Obviously, in real life, they will be former teammates at PSG. So, half time, we're against 10 men, and Palermo's still coming at us. It's unreal the, the effort from the Italian side. I'm going to absolutely tear into this team at half time, unless we can pull one back. No, again, Cavani's got. Got acres of space to run into here. Gets past Thiago Silva. Hits it at We clear the ball a bit. Not very well, though. Another great save from Akinfeev. Literally, Palermo are up for this game, and we are shrinking. We are awful in this game so far. Luka Modric, poor cross from him. Palermo, the much better side. Really, really unhappy. I expect nothing less than a win. We're, we're the better team. We're playing 10 men. Come on. And it's still Palermo with the highlights though. Back to their right back. De Jong gets in there and wins the ball. De Jong's probably going to have to come off sooner or later. And get we'll get another attacking option on the wing. And move Modric up. Gorkov. Why are you shooting from there man? Come on boys. Hour almost played. Not really had an opportunity that's tested the goalkeeper. Aguero's been, been poor. To say the least. As has this whole side. Gorkov also not playing very well. Into Modric. Another good save. Come on boys. Hour gone. 57 maybe. Chiellini. Back to Gorkov surely. Whips it. Ah, they get there ahead of Thiago Silva. We get another corner on the other side. Modric to take then. Whips it. Does he know? Modric then. Towards Hulk. Who again has been relatively poor. Right, 60 minutes on the clock. We're going to make some changes. I'm not happy with this. Gorkov's going to go out to that side. We're going to swap De Jong there. On comes Di Maria. And we're going to bring on 
Neymar for Hulk, and I'm going to swap those around. Aguero's going to play in the hole. Aguero's not been playing very well on a 5.8, so I'm going to try and get him involved in the game a little bit more. Um, if anything, boys, I'm going to probably have to put us on overload here. They make the subs. We're going on overload. Michael Richards absolutely flying in there, bearing in mind he's already on a booking. Modric then out to Di Maria on this left-hand side. Good running from Di Maria. Back to Joni and Lescott. Cross comes over. No good for Neymar that time. You wouldn't expect Neymar to necessarily win that in the air. But Neymar scored there. It's in. He's overjoyed with that one. 63 minutes. He's basically only just come on the field. And he scored. Um, so we recycle this ball here. Gorkov back to Mika Richards. Ball comes in. Neymar gets there. Heads it past the goalkeeper. <sighs> right. Instead of overload, we're going to go back to attacking in the hope that the extra man that we've had for the past 40 minutes in game is going to start to take its toll on Palermo. The running that they've done, I'm hoping that their conditioning goes down and we are able to make something out of um, their sloppiness, hopefully. So, Thiago Silva back to Mikko Richards, bursting down this right-hand side. We get a corner. Come on, boys. Let's keep pushing here. Mikko Richards goes back to defend it. Di Maria is going to take it. Comes over. They get the initial one clear. Mikko Richards is going to get there. Back up the line to Di Maria. Into Hamsik, who tries his luck from the edge of the penalty area. Hamsik's a player who I'm actually happier with shooting from the edge of the penalty area. 10 minutes of this game to go. 10 minutes of the 90 to go. And we have been pretty poor in this game so far. We keep the highlights coming, though. They get the ball clear. Akinfeev's going to pick this one up. Out to Mikko Richards on the right. Into Modric, up to Lescott on the left-hand side now. Recycling the ball nicely. They clear it. Abel Hernandez here. He's got pace. And Thiago Silva's just absolutely chopped him down here. I think we're going to go 10 men apiece. The <laughs> referee brandishes a yellow card. Are you high? <laughs> That's a red card all day. As a clear goal-scoring opportunity. And the free kick goes into the wall and goes behind. I mean... Corner comes over. We get that one clear. Neymar's looking for the press. Nothing going. Mika Richards gets a header clear. Thiago Silva clears again. Looks like we are going to extra time against 10 men. In my opinion, we should be down to 10 men ourselves. Thiago Silva should be gone here. Um, I'm a little bit worried that Thiago Silva and Mika Richards are both on bookings, but never mind. Palermo goalkeeper makes that stop there. Cleared. Mika Richards wins the header. Gorkov gets out, jump there. Thiago Silva flattens someone again whilst on a booking and the referee is not sending him off. 4-1-2-1 for Palermo, according to the text commentary. We get that one clear. End of 90 minutes. Okay. Aguero's back up to a 6.7. Um, I'm going to say they only need to find one goal. Obviously, we've got more pl uh, more players. We shouldn't do. Jesus, his first half of extra time has almost evaporated out there. Free kick from them into Akinfeev, who saves it. Out to Mika Richards. Big throw from the goalkeeper there. Thiago Silva, Aguero, Neymar in towards Hamsik. But he can't quite get there in terms of pace. Hamsik into the penalty area. Aguero's there. He loses, it out, loses out to it. Um, but we recycle another phase of possession. Angel Di Maria's offside. The ball didn't even get to Di Maria there. Um, I'm actually going to push us on overload. I think. Ball comes up into the air. We lose it. Mika Richards is there. He fouls. And we've gone to the referee. And I knew it was a matter of time. Okay, so we're going off overload. That's for damn sure. We're going to go back onto control. Um, luckily, I think I have the players to play a three back. <laughs> Um, luckily, I am playing three centre-backs. I'm going to put Lescott in the middle, actually, because I don't think he's as mobile as some of the others. Thiago Silva's on a booking, actually, so I'm going to take him off for Nader Manua. That's the three subs. Um, we're going to confirm it. We've got five minute, uh, 15 minutes to play of normal time before going to penalties. Penalties would be a very tough way to win this. Um, in my opinion... Palermo have been excellent, especially for the amount of time that they've been down to 10 men here. Working it nicely again. We nick it. In goes Aguero. Into Neymar. He's got Di Maria beyond him and finds him. 
Pushing down this left-hand side, Hamsik heads over the bar. It's a goal kick to Palermo. We've only just started edging them in terms of shots. Bearing in mind, they've had 10 men for ages now. Um, into Abel Hernandez. They're working it nicely. Back to Hernandez. Obviously, we've only got three at the back now. Oh, my God. They've hit the post. Jesus Christ. This is such a let-off. Gorkov poor again. Come on. Up the line towards Neymar to chase. Doesn't get there. 5-4-3 to Jesus. Last minute now, basically. Corner to Man City. It looks like we're going to penalties, boys and girls. And that corner's cleared. Hamsik gets it up the line to Di Maria. And we're going to penalties. Okay. So, we need to see their attributes. And we need to see their penalty taken. Okay. So, let's order them as well as we can here. Thiago Silva's got 16 penalty taken. Jesus. Okay. So, we're going to start with Gorkov. Then we're going to run Aguero. Modric, Di Maria, Hamsik to take number five, Neymar I guess it's six, so then we've got five, one on Julian Lescott, one on the goalkeeper, I mean, I'm just going to leave it like that and hope it doesn't go past six. Okay, here we go then. Penalty shootout to win the Champions League. It would be a treble. Akinfeev, can you be the hero? First one goes in for Palermo. Up steps Johan Gorkouf. He's been poor all game, and he's absolutely bottled it here. Hernandez scores. We're on the back foot already. We're 2-0 down. Aguero. That's his penalty saved. I mean... Okay, Akinfeev saved one back. Modric. Can we score a penalty? Yes. Right, okay, we've scored a penalty. We are coming back. I did say our top two goal scorers missing penalties. That's really poor. Jesus, right. Okay, Akinfeev's basically pulling us back into the game. Single-handedly, the massive Russian. Di Maria to level it then after four penalties. And he does. Akinfeev, can you be my hero? Oh my god, the guy's missed. It's all down to Hamsik, who's my joint best penalty taker. Merrick Hamsik, come on! Vamos! We win the Champions League on penalties. That was the worst game we've played in so, so long. Wow. 3 2 on penalties after being 2 0 down. We win the Champions League. I enter the Hall of Fame, which is nice to see. Let's have a look at this Hall of Fame. There I am, look. Eighth. Love to see it. Jesus. Right, okay. Everyone's happy with it. Famous treble. Michael Richards is banned. Don't care. Um, because this is the end of this series. Um, so guys, that is that is it for this series. And that is where I'm going to leave things. Um, we will be doing another edition of Retro FM. Uh, probably as of next week. Depending on when the um, FM21 beta drops. We're going to bring in FM11. So if you guys have any players that you would recommend. Or teams that you'd like to see me manage. I'd like to stay in England for this ideally. Um, drop them in the comments. If you have enjoyed this video or this series. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. And subscribe to my channel for daily football manager content. As soon as that beta is released. 
We're going to hit it hard. Hopefully, I'll see you guys for another video very, very soon.